Great news, Meadowood. We wanted to inform you about our plans to reopen the church on June 7th. Okay, now I've got a lot of information on how we're going to do this, so I'm asking you to hang with me. Okay, we're going to have two worship services on Sunday, June 7th. One that starts at 9 o'clock a.m. and another one that starts at 10.30. And so that'll give us the opportunity to social distance in the fellowship hall. And it'll give us the opportunity between the first and the second to set it back up and disinfect so that uh, we have a safe environment as possible. And so we want to encourage you uh, to follow the, these procedures as we go forward. There is so many instructions here. I have to have my notes to read them all. If you're planning on attending our worship services on June 7th, you can enter into these doors. Our 9 o'clock service, uh, the doors will open at 845, and in the 1030 service, our doors will open at 1015. Our ushers will be here to greet you as you come in, so we enter right here. When the services are over, we're gonna ask everybody to exit right here through the fellowship hall doors. We are gonna take your temperature as you enter the door. I know that sounds strange. I know it sounds odd, but we've got one of those temperature guns. We're gonna aim it at your forehead and we're gonna figure out what your temperature is as you enter into the building. These things won't touch you, so don't worry about it. We can seat 140 people at each worship service. Because we're having such limited numbers, we're going to require that you have reservations in order to attend. But it's okay. If you don't want to come, we're still going to do live streaming so that you can stay home and watch the worship service on your television. During our time of worship, we're asking families to sit with three chairs between you and the next person not in your family or in your party. Keep your distance, big boy. Masks are encouraged, but not mandatory. There will be receptacles in the fellowship hall at the back for you to place your offering. We will not be passing around an offering plate. We will not be handing out bulletins. There isn't anything to announce anyway. During the summer, we won't be having other activities besides our Sunday morning worship. We won't be having choir. We will not be having community groups except for the ones that are meeting online. We won't be having Wednesday night activities or Sunday night activities. Just want to let you know you've been so wonderful and understanding as we've had to make all of these adjustments. The prayer support uh, is so obvious. It's felt by our staff, by the people involved here at Meadowood. There are a lot of things happening in our building, as you're well aware, and the prayer support and the financial support have been terrific to help us continue in our mission so that when our doors do reopen, we'll be ready to go. Can't wait for that. If you have underlying conditions or susceptible uh, to any kind of illness, we wanna encourage you to stay home and continue to watch online our 1030 service will be streamed the same way it has been during all of this and I uh, want to encourage you to continue in that way. We look forward to seeing you when things get back to normal and uh, hope you don't feel forgotten. Our, uh, our church office continues to be open. We'd love to hear from you and uh, just encourage you to go to our website, send us an email, just let us know you're out there, comment on Facebook. Uh, we just want to encourage any interaction. We know you're there. We know you're watching. We love you, and we can't wait to see you again.